What? All right. I was going to get her down to the your temper, but from here you can probably actually see her cloaca and how it's swollen. And you can see there in the uh, creases of her legs and around the base of her tail. And she's actually done some self-mutilation. You can actually see some scarring there. Oh, by the way, it's Thursday and I'm at Bayview. <laughs> And I've agreed to stay this afternoon so I can see this one lonely bird. Yay! What's up? Hey. All right. Obviously, everybody here has had some problems with self-mutilation. This is not the first time I've seen her for that. But this is the first time we've seen her for the uh, bacterial overgrowth in her intestine. We just finished doing the fecal as well as a cytology. And this girl is chock full of strep type organisms. Um, Mom is not the richest person I know, so she cannot afford a culture at this point in time. Oh, you brought extra money. Woo, never tell a man that. <laughs> we'll see what we can do for her. Anyway, um, so at this point in time, we are definitely noticing that we have a strep infection. Uh, they usually will respond to one or two antibiotics. We're going to start off with the fluoroquinolone for starts because it's got a good broad spectrum. Um, and uh, anyway, we'll see where that goes from here. But uh, we're going to get this guy down in a second and get some better pictures. But look, hey, let me see your butt. Show me your butt. Yeah, show me your butt. <laughs> what? She's used to being videotaped. <laughs> what? <gasps> okay, you come down in a second. Um. I guess let's do this, okay? Um, it is late in the week. Uh, I'm usually kind of nervous of sending a culture to a lab this late in the week because if it sits in the mail for a length of time, it's going to die and you're going to waste a lot of money because cultures are not cheap. So let's go ahead and try this for a few days, okay? Say um, by next Monday or Tuesday, let me know if we're you know, seeing any improvement. And at that point in time, if we are, we'll let it ride. And if not, then we can bring her back and we'll stick a swab up her butt and we'll get a sample and then we'll send that off to the lab. The good news is this antibiotic will clear some of the bacteria out of our way and help whoever is going to be doing the culture, you know, see a little bit more of what's actually causing the problem and a lot less of that background noise of the other bacteria that are in there. Okay? That makes sense? The other than that, do you think she looks healthy? Well, her eyes are clear, her lungs are clear, her coronal slit looks good. They're, I mean, all physically, you know, if, if she were covered in feathers, she would be a pretty good specimen. Okay. Um, but she does have those sores, and and I can actually tell that there has, you know, by some of the, the, the feathers and the wingtips, that uh, there's actually going to be some damage done to the feather follicles themselves. So we may, this may be as good as she gets. I mean, that's fine. I just don't want to get any worse. Yeah. I mean, Ryan already had her when we met, and he's the reason that I got my son caught in here because he was telling me how great she was. Mm -hmm. and, and so I don't even really know how old she is. I think she might be around five years old. She can talk. She just doesn't, unless we're watching TV <laughs> or talking to each other, and then she's over there mumbling, <laughs> telling us what she thinks. I, uh... I went to a, actually been to several seminars over the years, you know, over feather plucking and feather picking, and, and probably the most comedic way I've seen it done was there's this one doctor who uh, works over in Florida, and she checks her schedule every day before she goes to work, and um, or when she's leaving work to come back the next day, and every time she sees things like, you know, feather plucking and, and self-mutilation, she said that she basically can feel diarrhea coming on and a scratchy throat, and any excuse not to come to work the next day, because... Nine times out of ten, these uh, these cases and these problems are going to be something that uh, is a little bit more on the mental side. Okay, that's habitual. What I, that's what I figured. Yeah. I, that's not really like why I brought her in. I had hoped that you would be able to tell me something about it, but I figured it was more of just something that she does because she's used to doing it now. In the beginning, it probably was, but like I said, as I'm looking at the skin now, I'm not seeing a whole lot of new growth feathers, so I'm sure she's done some serious damage to the... Uh, the germinal tissue that makes the feather, individual feather. Yeah. So, you know, this may be as good as she gets for now, um, unless she goes and visits that Bosley for birds. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Sorry, I just made that up. Um. <laughs> I, had, I mean, I had worried about her getting cold and stuff, so I bought her like a reptile lamp to that was probably spawn smart. over her cage. Yeah. Because, you know, Jack has all his feathers. He He's like, other than the foot, he's perfect. And that actually ended up... I had actually saved like all my money when I when I saw that she was like that. I just took everything I had and saved it because I was like, I know this might be expensive. I'm gonna do my damnedest not to take everything you have, but it's all you right. know, we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll do with it one step at a time. Just understand, I don't make the diseases. I'm just trying to fix them. I know. Um, and I really do appreciate you staying to see her no a problem. lot. Thank you. It's gonna be for you. I, I was getting tired of being sent bird porn over the internet. I had to had to get her in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's some good thing the FBI don't care about that crap, isn't it? <laughs> this is a laugh more at that one, but that's all right. <laughs> you are a cute bird. Yeah, you are. She's really sweet. She mm -hmm. is. I can see that. She Well, she likes me a little bit more than she even likes Ryan now, because Ryan didn't mess with them a whole lot. I clean their cages and buy their food mm -hmm. and take care of them and play with them and all that, so she's kind of more my bird now than his. Just gets a cool video. Yeah, because birds are cool. <laughs> so, where, like on her chest, where it's got those little white, like, um, like bumps that's just like feather follicles trying those to come would back be, in? Those are feather follicles. You got it. Okay. And they should, you know, like I said, uh, I'm seeing a few feathers pop out of some of those spots, but there's some that I'm actually just seeing. You know, it's, like it's just scar tissue. No, it's uh, like you know, not going to come back. Probably not. You're naked forever now. Look now, there are other disease processes that can cause this. There's, there's hyperthyroidism. There's, you know, there's a lot of other things. But the way that it popped up, you know, when you guys had, had left for town and came back and part of this is already there, it tells me that we're probably looking at something behavioral, you know, because it wasn't like you guys were in town. It happened when things changed, when her behavior changed. Yeah. I mean, I had asked, like, his mom said that she was going to go to the house and check on her every day and all that, but I came home and their water was dirty and all that, and I'm like, oh, look, I thought you were going to take care of my birds. Like, <laughs> it's usually the way it works. What? Yeah, Jack's foot healed, like, perfect. He acts like... He acts like he still has a foot. Like, he still hangs upside down in his cage and I everything. I told you it wasn't going to be that big a deal. He's such a little shit. <laughs> I was disappointed that he didn't pull that piece of bone out of there, but hell, you know, get over it. Well, you know, if you want to see him, I'll bring him <laughs> Well, I do, I do sometimes worry that their, their beaks and their, like, his nails really need to be clipped, and because they're black, I'm mm -hmm. kind of afraid to do it. Just and get an emery board and just sand them. Yeah. yeah, just a little bit of following. Same thing with the beak? Uh, well, this one's beak's not too long. It's just sharp. But, yeah, I mean, you just a little bit of following. Is this? Board. I mean, I have a picture. It's pretty, it's pretty long. Let me see if I can find a picture of him. Sorry. She's not sure what to think of your office at all. <laughs> okay, here's a video of him. Is fun up there in that cup? This isn't too long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, step up. He's oh, the loudest thing ever. Dance, 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 dance. Oh, yeah, I taught him a trick. Dance, dance. <laughs> Good boy. Every time you turn on Michael Jackson, he starts dancing. Jack. <laughs> yes. Dance, dance. My bird used to like Casey and the Sunshine Band. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, like, I'm pretty sure she can talk because, like, I just hear her mumbling all kinds of stuff all the time. And I've heard her say her name before, and I've, I've heard her say, like, step up, so... She, I think she just likes to pretend that she doesn't know what's going on. There you go. Well, she, she's, you know, got her own little language, so she's just cussing you guys out when you're paying attention to her. Boop. Ryan's like, why does she always bite me? I'm like, you have to talk to, your, to her before you touch her, because 
She's scared. And then she's gonna bite you. <laughs> But yeah, like, whatever medicine you can give me. Um, you know, I told Ryan, I was like, you know, it's kind of not fair that I'm taking care of your bird because I don't know why you got her if you weren't prepared to handle the responsibility of taking care of her. But he's my husband, so. <laughs> Figured him out. You just way. can't throw him away. I mean, well, you know, for better or for worse, you take care of each other. I'm surprised she can still fly that well. <laughs> Being that she almost doesn't have any feathers. Well, it's just a leading part of her, her wing on that one side. On both sides, actually, about the same spot. So she can, she does pretty, she, it shouldn't slow her down too much. I wouldn't expect her to migrate anywhere anytime soon. But. No, I don't really clip their wings because they don't come out of their cages that often. Like, even when I open the door, they just kind of, like, hang out in there. What's up, naked one? Ryan was like, well, you don't have to take her to the vet. And I'm like, well, I mean, I can't just let her be like this. I don't... Because the other night, I was... I Being really, featherless is one thing. Having those sores, that's yeah, going to be death defining. So you did good. Yeah, I was not worried about the skin as much as I was worried about what was going on. Because the night that I first saw it, it looked like an infection. And I was like, that looks That bad. first picture you sent me was much worse than what we're seeing now. Yeah, it's so. kind of dried up a little since then. How are you, Monkey? She's doing great. Okay. Let me get out of here. Monkey, right? I have a monkey and a cat. I'm just, you know, there's like, there's over 2,000 videos on there. You'd be surprised so how many blue jays I have played with. Yeah, I I had found one and, and raised her mm -hmm. for like two years. She was like my baby. And um, I gave her to my friend because uh, I just, you know, with the parrots, it's hard to have them both out at the same time because they could hurt her and, you know, problems. So I just felt like she would have a better quality of life with my friend. But I was really... <laughs> surprised